Welcome to a stationer's coating video of using both the sun and the grow lights together for growing crops. And here we have a uh, simple configuration, uh, housing, integrated circuit, we have a daylight sensor, and a grow light. The grow light placement is the same as you any other hydroponic room. The placement of the daylight sensor is obviously any place where the sun can reach it. Uh, here we have it out in the open and you notice it says grid sunlight is true and that actually equivalent is equivalent to the activate property of the uh, sensor. So let's look at the code. And well, as always, the code is in the link in the uh, description which points to GitHub which we updated should be changes. Uh, so you have a name of the script. This is called the simple version. You could probably do I can do a lot more advanced stuff, um, but we're keeping it somewhat straightforward for now. So we have the description. This uses a combination of both the sun and the grow light. Uh, it guarantees a specific number of minutes of darkness. In other words, you know, if it's night, it's not going to run the grow light all night long. And here we have user configuration. So if the dark time span is seconds, it's set to uh, 210 seconds which works out to 300 and three minutes and 30 seconds. Potatoes minimum dark is three minutes and 20 seconds. I just gave it an extra um, 10 seconds fudge factor. Uh, it has a single device port, which is a date sensor. Um, the hash of the grow light, this operates with multiple grow lights. So the first thing it does is synchronize and once it, the first daylight cycle, it may be slightly out of sync, but once it goes through that, it'll be um, no problems after that. So we're waiting for night. If we're waiting for night, it must be day. If it's day, make sure it's turned off. So we turn it off and we turn it off over and over and over. It doesn't hurt anything. We'll just keep the code straightforward. Sleep for a second. Um, query the activate which is the grid sunlight property. And we load that register. If it's, if it's not zero, which means it's daylight, we go back to wait for night. And we keep looping this until it hits darkness. Once it hits darkness, we fall down here and we just sleep for that duration. So we know it's dark. We know the grow light's off. So to sleep for that duration, and that'll satisfy the, uh, the, the plant's requirement for darkness. Now, since we completed that, we turn the grow light on. So once we turn it on, or after we turn it on, and then we drop down to here. Now we wait for the, because uh, it's dark right now, because the light's on, we wait for the beginning of the next day cycle. So once again, we'll sleep for a second. We'll load the activate, or is it, sorry, if it is zero, that means it's still dark. We'll jump back to wait for day and we'll keep looping. So basically it's nighttime right now, we'll wait for daylight to hit. Once we fall through there, that means it's day, turn off the grow light. So now we know it's daylight, we know the grow light's turned off. We now go ahead and jump, wait for night again, which is back to the beginning, which we started with, and we loop again here. And yes, I do excessive number of um, turning it off. That's just to keep the code simple straightforward and if you modify it you know it, it makes sure that we really turn it off and as i said these code patterns are designed to try to be as simple as straightforward as possible you understand it easy to modify they're not designed to use a minimal lines of code or use the, the fanciest coding techniques those those videos will come down the road those, we're going to cover all the basic stuff first all right and that's all it is it's not a big deal and now uh, let's see, it's date, it's night, and there's that grid sunlight, which is the activate property. And we're in the um, night cycle here. So after the time has gone off, this light will come on. When daylight hit, the lights goes off and the code goes through. All right, so I just want to uh, show this bit of code. Hopefully it uh, all makes sense. I'll be using this code for both my Europa and uh, Vulcan runs. Um, for a planet with very poor sunlight, it's 
not worth it. Just use normal grow light cycles and, and close the environment. But for Vulcan and uh, Europa, I decided to have a sort of open greenhouse um, effect. All right. So that's in this video. And until next time, see ya.